It was Congress that passed the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, creating the SEC to regulate markets and protect investors. The market crash and Great Depression shook Americans' confidence. Joseph Kennedy would become the first chairman. His mission for the agency? To bring order out of chaos and to restore national confidence in fair markets that could generate capital. As years passed, another need developed, a place to house the history of the agency. David Reuter, former SEC chairman, led the effort. One of the attributes of, uh, of people at the commission has been their dedication and loyalty. I used to joke that the only reason I accepted the chairmanship of the SEC is so that I could be an SEC employee. <laughs> uh, but in any event, uh, I, I had this dedication and, I, and I'm also, as a law professor, I'm really a legal historian. And I thought it would be wonderful to have uh, history of the SEC established in a single place. Paul Gonson, the SEC's long-serving solicitor, was recruited by Reuter to help establish the SEC Historical Society. I felt, and I think our fellow founders felt too, that there was a need to have a museum of some kind that would collect documents, that would collect uh, regulatory filings, and not only for the SEC, but but more broadly with regard to the securities market generally and finance in the United States. Uh, if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. Reuter also turned to Harvey Pitt, former SEC general counsel and later SEC chairman, knowing that he too would bring a deep appreciation for the mission to preserve the SEC's history. I think keeping and preserving that record is essential. When we have to deal with 9-11, I was able to build on the work of David Reuter in 1987. That was magnificent. These early visionaries wanted to create an archive for written and oral histories that would share not just the history of the agency, but also the passion of the people who worked here. It was a very challenging and stimulating place to work. I worked with some of the smartest and most enthusiastic people I've ever met in my life, and uh, that's. That's what I would highlight. These are the names and faces of former society chairs who played an important role throughout the years to guarantee the 20 year success of the Historical Society, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. These volunteer trustees donated their time, wisdom, and financial support to make the SEC Historical Society what it is today. Each one has also brought with them the passion it takes to drive this success. They all believe in the important mission of preserving this vital history and to make it publicly accessible. They all recognize the importance of history because often the past is a useful guide for the future. The statutes we have are very resilient and there's a tendency to want to, whenever anything bad happens, to adopt some crazy new reform. And I think seeing how we can get things to work, like how we got the 33 Act to work with the internet, is a good example, um, and people wouldn't know that that's what happened, um, especially if they didn't have access to these sisters. You have to remember, this is what computers look like when these early founders envisioned the spreading reach of the digital revolution, and a virtual museum was born to capture these treasures. Having a, a, a museum and a, and, a, and a foundation of, of history that tells us how issues were managed in the past is invaluable to generations that are going to manage similar f issues in the future. The museum allows researchers to better understand how the system of statutes, regulations, and government policies are guiding the capital markets. In this fast-paced world with a 24-hour news cycle, it also gives scholars a chance to reflect on events with a sober understanding of history. There's a real value in having an appreciation for what went before you, who went before you and how they did things. And you may not agree with everything they did, but there's something to be learned from. The museum is easy to navigate with themed galleries. There's also an important timeline from the SEC's birth to Black Monday in 1987, the terror attacks of 9-11, which shook the markets. And of course, the Great Recession and stock market crash of 2008. All of this is because of founders who had the vision to take a dream and make it a reality. I believe very strongly in the mission of the SEC Historical Society 
because I believe very strongly in the mission of the SEC, which is a great agency and an agency I, I, I truly love.